Greetings, everyone, and welcome to an introduction to the resurfacing project plan for Highway 213. My name is Ryan Cole, and I'm an engineer currently working for the Wisconsin DOT's southwestern region. To begin, our staff for the design of this project consists of Kurt Johnson as project supervisor, Chris Hazard as project manager, and myself as the project design engineer. The project identification, or ID, is the number 55710072 and is bound by a point 148 feet northwest of Burton Street at the western edge of Beloit, and a point about 78 feet southeast of Highway 11 in Orfordville. This brings the total project length to about 12.6 miles. Here we have the anticipated start point of the project at about 148 feet northwest of Burton Street. The red line crossing the roadway lines up with an existing break in the asphalt, with the newer asphalt to the south and the older asphalt to the north where we will be resurfacing for this project. In this picture, we see the anticipated end of the project, about 78 feet southeast of Highway 11, along another existing break in the pavement. The existing conditions of Highway 213 vary, with some areas of curb and gutter and some areas with more lanes, mainly around Orfordville with its parking lanes. However, most of this section of roadway consists of two 12-foot lanes with 6-foot to 7-foot gravel shoulders. In Orfordville, there is a parking lane in addition to the 12-foot lanes, measuring about 7 foot to 9 foot on both sides of the road. For drainage, there are 32 small culvert pipes, which pass under the roadway in the project area, of which only 7 need minor work, which is usually cleaning or replacing small sections. Traffic counts place average daily traffic, or ADT, at between 2,160 and 4,220 vehicles per day, depending on the location along the project. Of these 2,160 to 4,220 vehicles, between 6.7% and 14.3% were found to be trucks. Now we'll get into what the Wisconsin DOT plans to change. For starters, we will be performing a 4-inch mill and overlay, which means 4 inches of existing asphalt will be removed, and 4 inches of new asphalt will be poured into place, resulting in no overall change in the road height. The project will retain the same number of lanes that already exist throughout the project, and the overall shoulder width will also stay the same. However, the section of the shoulder that's not covered in asphalt will be paved with asphalt out to three feet. This is to help prevent accidents where people either drift off or are pushed off of the roadway into the shoulder area, also known as a run off the road or ROR crash, by giving them more room to have their tires travel outside of the lane before they hit rough ground. The Wisconsin DOT has local governments fund the resurfacing of parking lanes up to six feet with the Wisconsin DOT putting up the difference for the remaining width of the parking lane. Since Orfordville has parking lanes that are 7 foot to 9 foot, this will be discussed further with your local officials as the design process continues forward. In updating safety measures, beam guard runs will be repaired as necessary and have their ends upgraded to newer, safer, energy-absorbing terminals, also known as EATs. Additionally, all curb ramps in Orfordville along Highway 213 will be updated to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. Finally, Highway 213's intersections with County H and County Q would be redesigned to help mitigate the number of turning related accidents that occur at each of those locations. This picture is meant to give context to what a County H redesign might look like. The inclusion of dedicated turn lanes and straightening the intersection to be 90 degrees with Highway 213 are both ways that turn safety could be drastically improved at this intersection. Very similar to County H, a County Q redesign would see dedicated turn lanes built and the County Highway shifted out to make the intersection 90 degrees. This project will be completed under road closure with an official detour. During this time, all locals will retain access to their driveways and local traffic will be allowed to move within the road closure as much as reasonably possible. As for the detour, the current expectation is to use Highway 81 to Highway 11. This would also be the same for the truck detour. The seven cross culvert pipes that need work, of the 32 total, will receive repair in the form of four getting their extensions replaced, one getting extended and cleaned out, and two just getting cleaned out. And so far as real estate, real estate will be required for some of the curb ramp upgrades, as they generally push the curb ramps back to make the slopes acceptable for American with Disabilities Act standards. The redesign of County H and County Q intersections will also need real estate for the new roadway locations. As a result, 
real estate acquisition will become involved and affected parties will be contacted as the extent of needed real estate becomes known. The current schedule has this project out for bid on November 11, 2025, with construction planned to take place sometime in 2026. However, there is a chance for this project to be advanced to be bid on February 11, 2025, with construction in 2025, depending on funding. Changes to the project schedule will be reflected on the project website where you found this presentation. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.